What's going on everyone? I'm Kane and this is Noodle and today we've got something big in store so stay tuned and see what we're about to build. Alright guys, so always, always, always exciting news and always never ending projects. What you're looking at here is a very expensive pile of wood. <laughs> so what we've got planned here, this is seven sheets of oak plywood, three quarter inch. And it's honestly, if I'm being transparent, this this is literally over six hundred dollars worth of plywood. I know you could I could have used a lot cheaper of a wood. But I like this because for one, it doesn't have voids in it, like some of the other woods. And for two, it's significantly lighter than some of the other plywoods that are three quarter inch. Some of that stuff's really heavy. So what we're gonna build here is two enclosures that are gonna be eight foot long, three foot wide, and two and a half foot tall. One for my tegu and one for my turtles. And eventually, maybe we'll have another one like that for the Burmese Python when it gets bigger. But I would have much rather preferred to go with the PVC route, but these sheets right here are $90 a sheet, which I know is ridiculous. I know it's expensive, but at the same time, for a half inch sheet, not three quarter like this, for a half inch sheet of PVC, it was gonna be $183 a sheet. And it's not even strong enough to be stackable or put substrate in, it would have bowed. So as much as I would love to go the PVC route, we just can't afford that. But I need it to be weight manageable and you know, I want it to last. So I did at least spring for the more expensive wood. So definitely exciting. We'll update you about this along the way. And yeah, just always keep your eye out because we're working on new projects. All right, some things are already changing around here. You might notice our door has been ripped out. We're widening it out so that we can get these new enclosures in here once they get built. And I've already started rearranging in the reptile room. Now this isn't the permanent setup, but it's just a start so I can actually get them in here once I get them built. So I can just move these couple of things over to this wall and more than likely, I'm going to stack them right here and then we're probably going to sell these so that I can make more room to build some more enclosures. But man, exciting. A lot more space in here. Probably after we get done doing these ones, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild um, the Bearded Dragons enclosure and sell that one. Then we're going to build another enclosure for Tiny, our Burmese Python, which will be a middle enclosure because It'll eventually need a bigger one. Probably like the ones we're building, maybe even a touch bigger than that. But yeah, <clears throat> looking pretty good in here. Pretty good. So stay tuned and see how it turns out. All right guys, well I just want to check in and give you an update. So, these bad boys are coming together. We've got them built and we got our first layer of stain and two coats of the sealer on the inside. I know, I'm sorry that I'm not recording the whole process, but it's just too much work and I work a lot and I don't have enough free time. So I just kind of gotta go as I am. But I can show you some of the things I'm working with here. So for sealing the inside, I'm using dry lock original and then I'm putting a whole container of this grout stain jet black in it to come up with this gray color and then for our stain we're using this espresso color and then of course I already told you about the wood but yeah these things are just coming together nicely so we got as I said one step one coat of stain and two coats of the sealer on the inside so far we're gonna do one more coat of the sealer 
and then one more coat of the stain. Then we can get into working on putting in some vents and putting in the glass tracks and it'll basically be done. So yeah, super excited. I cannot wait to have these in my reptile room. Have them set up, stacked on top of each other. It's gonna be nice. All right guys, back here again. I'm super excited as always. So we've got our last fall python for the year. This one we got from Steve Winkler Reptiles. Of course, off Morph Market as always. And this will be the last one we can hurry and squeeze in for this breeding season. And so, We've got a pairing ready for uh, we've got a pairing ready for salt and we've got a pairing ready for sunny. Our B or our BL and or and our um, albino pie. So you can only guess who this is for. And that is Mr. Noodle. Oh man, I am excited for this one. So, Noodle is our pinstripe pet pie male. And this is a banana pet pie female. And so this is gonna be our pairing for Noodle for the year. And I am super excited to get her. That is just beautiful, beautiful snake. She's got a good radiant dark to dark yellow, to regular yellow, even to the whites. She's already got some of the freckling on her, which some people don't like, but I actually like because that gives it that banana look. But she is a good size, pretty girl. So yeah, this is our final one for this season. Super exciting. So we'll have three pairings for this year and hopefully it'll do good. We already got her home ready for over here, so we'll go ahead and put her in. Let her get relaxed, settled in. Super excited. What's going on guys? Well, we've got it all done. I'm super excited and I'm also super exhausted. It's late and we've been working like crazy. But, we got our doors in, they're a little bit dirty. Got the vents in on the inside. Got a little plug right there to run wires through. Vents all the way around. We went with the Lexan doors. Let me just go ahead and tell you, just go with Lexan, don't try to do glass. I'm so glad I didn't because I had to recut and recut to get those to fit in. You can see how the holes worked out on the sides and along the back. Pretty sweet, man, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see these in the reptile room. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be in this video, but more than likely it'll be in the next one so stay tuned and check back in so that you can see these beauties all set up all right everyone well i appreciate you watching i'm super excited about these enclosures and i can't wait to get them in the reptile room i'm sorry that i didn't go in more detail on how to build them but me and my wife worked ruthlessly on those things and being the size there were and two of them and working a full-time job i just didn't have time to video every step it would have took three times as long but, as I stated in the video, I'm going to be building another enclosure for our Bearded Dragon. So stay tuned because I plan on doing a step-by-step -step tutorial all the way through on how to build one. So stay tuned if you want to see that. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. And as always, remember, your hobby can bring you joy, but only Jesus can bring you peace. Hope to see you guys next time.